Hey everyone, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. I hope you're all doing well. I'm excited to talk to you about a web-based app that is designed to automate local government's processing of solar permit applications, which has earned praise from local government officials that have tested it. So the National Renewable Energy Laboratory is pushing toward a widespread release this October, and it's called the Solar App. So that's APP, and it's an acronym for Automated Permitting Processing or Processing Permitting. Anyways, it's Solar App. That's the simple term. The tool will be completely free to the local governments that implement it, and they're going to basically fund it by charging contractors, us, a small fee, and we're already signed up, so the, the fee is small, it's really not that big of a deal. The app evaluates solar applications for safety and code compliance and delivers automated instant plan review and permit approval or rejection based on the code compliance. So it's a pretty innovative product. The solar app was proposed way back in 2018 by the Solar Energy Industries Association and the Solar Foundation to help reduce what we call in the industry soft costs. This is usually permits and plan design, engineering, those types of fees that we continue to have to do in certain jurisdictions excessively, in some cases way excessively when you don't really need to. I mean, solar's come a long way. It's, it's pretty simple these days. There's not a lot of things to look at. We've already signed up for the solar app, I mentioned that, as a local government in our area actually has implemented it, and it was the city of Menifee. So big shout out to you guys for being a beta tester. Basically, we access an online form through solar app, and voila, within uh, 15 minutes, we had a permit approval. It was really quick, and what's really cool is they had a feature that really expedited the process. I thought we were gonna have to manually enter a lot of data. I wasn't sure how they were doing the automated system, but they've actually like kind of created some APIs, so it integrates with the California Electrical Code, the CEC, which all solar modules have to submit through California to be approved. Uh, they're also like pulling data from the UL certifications, I believe. They're, they're pulling a lot of data from um, certification sites to ensure you have the most accurate list for the modules and the microinverters. Because really those are the two variables. The racking isn't that big of a deal as long as it has certain util certifications, which you just put, you know, this is my racking, whether it was like Iron Ridge, you know, XR10, and is it, you know, UL 1701 or 1703? Yes, you know, it meets that fire code. So as long as you put that, yeah, you, you, you move on and that equipment should be that. Uh, the current version of the solar app reflects the requirements of the 2017 National Electrical Code and the 2018 International Building Code and uh, Residential uh, Code for International. The NREL is working to upgrade the app also to support the 2020 NEC code for local governments that have already adopted the newer standard. Most jurisdictions take a couple years to actually adopt the newer standard in what I've seen most certain situations. So it's not a deal, a big deal, but they are working on it for those of you that are in the government side and have been kind of interested about this product. So 2020 code is coming. Additionally, the NREL has plans to upgrade solar app to enable it to process residential energy storage permit applications as well. This is huge. Trust me, a freaking game changer to have an automated system be able to do solar and battery backup solutions because the demand for batteries is increasing year over year. And I mean, I feel right now it's like month over month. We just have more and more demands for battery backup solutions. So having a streamlined process will be really valuable, not to mention the uniformity solar app brings because it takes away so many of the unknown factors that we as contractors honestly have to deal with depending on the various different jurisdictions. Heck, Riverside County, we have a project that we're doing a solar and battery backup system on. It's a ground mount solar system, so usually the permitting fees are more. But as of like March, September of 2020, I don't know, randomly they implemented a new permit fee for just batteries, which I tried to argue with them. I don't want to go into the nitty gritty, but 
they were charging $800 for just the permit on the battery. Like they literally put the battery in its own little permit. And I was absurd because California has some of the strictest laws already in place for solar. So there, we already have certain mandates and guidelines. Like most jurisdictions aren't allowed to charge more than $500 for a solar permit. They're supposed to be able to do a solar permit uh, under certain conditions uh, over the counter. Um, many of them, I don't know a whole lot that do it currently over the counter due to the pandemic, but many of them are taking two to three weeks. So a lot of them, you know, we have these state mandates that, you know, these bills that had passed, but many jurisdictions actually just avoid them altogether. And I honestly don't even know, you know, what the repercussions are like Riverside County, because I tried to argue with them over that $800 fee. We ultimately had to pay it because, you know, going through the ladder of administration wasn't really getting us anywhere. And the only person, you know, that was being affected was that customer. So we paid the $800 and proceeded with the project and got our permit. But it's absurd, you know, that's one jurisdiction as an example that's, you know, overly charging on fees on a battery, you know, for backup. So that's something that could be avoided with the solar app implementation. Now, this type of tool is well overdue. I mean, it honestly is for the solar industry and we will greatly benefit from all parties. And so not just the homeowner and the local government, but the contractors are gonna benefit, you know, cause we're gonna have uniformity. We, we're gonna be able to bring costs down on the plans and permitting side of projects because it's going to be automated. Like it either you're installing something that's code compliant or you're not. I mean, that's really where we're at these days with solar. And honestly, solar permits account for nearly one third of all building permits pulled here in the state of California. I mean, that's crazy. I've heard of some cities like Oceanside, I've read an article that they deal with over 1800 solar permits a year and they only deal with 5,000 building permits that same period. So that's a substantial amount. I know jurisdictions that deal with over 150 solar permits a week. I mean, the amount of resources you need for someone to review stuff, which most of it's cookie cutter. It's, it, a lot of it's the same thing over and over, but having those people there to review 150 projects is costly and very time consuming. So a tool like this is well overdue. We strongly, I personally am strongly encouraging any of you that watch our channel and are subscribed that you share this video with your local government. Tag your city, share it on Twitter, share it on Facebook, and tag the mayor, tag the building officials. If you work in the city, bring it up in a meeting because this tool will save money and resources and have those of you that work in those local governments be able to spend your time working on other building permits that actually need your review and oversight. Solar has come so far these days in the last 15 years that they don't need this micromanagement and this tool that the National Renewable Energy Laboratory has developed in correlation with other organizations is huge for everyone and we really need to see it be implemented nationwide and uh, supposedly the NREL is releasing the app for full access this October. So if that happens, I would love to see, you know, just about every city and county here in California be adopted to it because it would be tremendous. Well, thanks for watching this week's video. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm super excited about the solar app. I really hope you as a consumer are. And like I said, share it. We want to get this information out there. You know, we want more and more cities and more counties to adopt this type of tool. It costs them absolutely nothing. So there can't be the excuse of we don't have taxpayer dollars because it's freaking free. So you can't say you can't implement something that costs you nothing. And that's awesome, you know. So share this video. Be sure to like it if you found it helpful. And for those of you you know we're a solar contractor we do a lot of solar business here in southern california if you haven't made the switch to solar you're missing out you could be saving so much money and you know there's cool tools like this that are helping bring down the cost solar has come down a lot in the last 15 years heck in the last three years it's come down tremendous amount but it's not going to continue to go down we have seen price increases due to the inflation of the cost of materials because solar uses precious metals and materials. So 
you know, it's really important that you consider going solar now rather than later because this is probably as low as it's going to get. I really have a hard time thinking equipment manufacturers could decrease the prices after the cost of the goods that have gone up. We saw about a 6% increase um, in Q2 to Q3 from all manufacturers, LG, Enphase, Qcell, um, REC, I mean, and Solar Edge. Everybody in the industry, the cost of copper, the cost of glass, the silicon, um, let's not forget about chips that they have to manufacture, PCB boards, all those things are manufactured throughout the entire world. This is all a global thing. So those goods went up and so did the materials. So I don't see prices going down again anytime soon, but they're pretty stable right now and it's a great time for you to make that switch. So use that link down in the description below so that way you can start saving money today. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.